We're ready. All right. Welcome to the Entrepreneur Power Hour, where we inspire the world's entrepreneurs, teach them fun things, and sometimes heckle them. Not too much. We want to be nice people. See, we're all nice people. Today, we're going to talk about 10 harsh lessons. It's an article from entrepreneur.com, and these harsh lessons are going to teach you to become a better person and a better entrepreneur and maybe make you cry a little bit. Today, we have Chris Peters, Michael Wallace, Dan Sissick, good to see him back, Fran Richardson, Bill Maybauer, always glad to have him. Yep. All right. Are you, do you have the article up? I do. So, guys, number one, the first lesson is the first step is always the hardest. So whenever you want to achieve something important, the first step is inevitably going to be daunting, frightening. And, but when you fake that first move, anxiety and fear dissipate in the name of action. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think that's true? Do you think that when you take action, fear and anxiety start to take a back seat and kind of just fade from your conscious awareness? Because I know that's what happens to me. Of course, I don't get scared of taking action anymore. I just do it because, I mean, that's what I do. So I just go and I do it. And whatever happens, happens. And I just go as I do it. Go as I go. Dude, come as I go. I'm tired tonight. Just somebody else talk. <laughs> Oh man, come on! You're like, take action. Oh, I am. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> a long day, but yeah, like <laughs> Ford, right? I mean, Henry Ford, whose first two automobile businesses failed, right? So when he started the Ford Motor Company, he was already 45. And then there was author Henry Bernstein, who dedicated his entire life to writing before he landed his bestseller at the age of 96. So when you finally do succeed, you realize realize the journey was the best part of it. So. That's how I feel. This is good stuff. <laughs> I feel it's difficult to actually get up and make the first step because for me, that's always been the hard part. It's not been giving that speech or going to the gym or getting on camera. The hard part was just like, oh, wait, I have to do the power hour today. I have to go and uh, take care of whatever I have to take care of. And then I would think so many ideas to kind of like, oh, you know, it's a rough day. I don't have to do it. I don't have to take action day. I'll do it tomorrow. You know, things aren't lining up. Yeah. And through that thought process in the past, I always stopped myself from actually doing something I wanted to. Recently, I saw my friend uh, trading some, some different things. I was like, wow, I'm just going to do it. You know, okay, I might lose money, you know, trading back different like, uh, assets whatever you know I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot where before I'd be like well is that really a good idea you know do I do I want to spend my time doing that and it's awesome it, it it helped me become a level one seller on Fiverr and nice. it's helping you know get more content out there it's helping me get better with Camtasia so I, I yeah just taking that step of like okay here's a program here's an issue here's a speech I want to give I want to get uh better at lifting and I think most recently oh, oh. lifting <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're gonna start taking steroids now Kareem yeah I'm gonna you call know, on the power right and be like, like I, heads off. yeah yelling at people We'll have a special one, How to Juice, on the Power Hour. I'm like, I'm here with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But yeah. no, it's just taking that little step of just clicking the Zoom link today, the first action. So give yourself a pat on the back, guys. Sure. Right, Dan? Yeah, Dan was busy last week, so. He's famous now. He's going to He is. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, uh, no I, I just have lots of. <laughs> personal things going on in my life um, and things like that so um, and I'm involved in a big event with my church right now so that's tell us about that how's that going you were talking about that to me on Facebook uh, just before the, the call here tonight so I mean what's that all about I mean wh how's okay. that going for you uh, well what it is is it's called Convoy of Hope and we partnered with them the last three uh, last three years this is our third year doing it and wow. um, First year we touched like a little over 7,000 lives. Last year we touched over 10,000 lives here in the Las Vegas community by offering free services, free Thanksgiving dinners, uh, grocery bags, Pretty services long. for the veterans and stuff and things like that. People that need assistance or trying to figure out where to go get assistance and stuff. It was all provided through our church and Convoy of Hope who helped us with that. 
And so this year we're going to be trying for again for to touch over 10,000 lives. I myself am an assistant leader, and Kareem will love this. I'm in charge of all the costume character people. That um, I have a full body costume of Garfield, Scooby Doo, and the Scarecrow. And me being a Garfield freak, uh, yeah. I love being Garfield. So. Um, People know that that's me, and that's what I'm. A, uh, and I love kids, so in that they asked me to, to take on being the assistant leader for that. And I, this is my third year of doing it. I love it. It's um, just a big thing, and love being able to give back to my community um, as I'm working and doing things and putting out. And I'm not expecting anything back. It's just good to just put it out there. I know I'm being a part of something that's helping a lot of people and do something positive out there for the whole community oh, yeah. so. oh that, that's really cool man i mean you know when you can get involved in something like that and you can help less fortunate people it makes the world turn their heads and look at you it inspires people to go you know if that guy can do it why, why what's stopping me from going and working in a volunteer facility and, and serving meals to the homeless or you know it's picking up a cat off the street and finding it a home or Whatever it happens to be, I mean, I my mom today, uh, she I had I bought her some groceries today because she's been short on money, and you know I didn't even have to think about it. I was just like, mom, let's go get you some food, you know. Uh, it's just stuff like that that really, really, I'm just become second nature now for me. Just I just want to help people, including people that I may not know. It doesn't matter. Like if I see a guy that's homeless and he's not in front of a liquor store, I'll give him some money to go get some food. You know, because it, that's important. We all need to be doing that. Everybody needs to be doing that if we want to change consciousness. It starts with giving, showing people that you're different than everyone else who may have passed you, passed you by or driven by you or whoever, whatever it happens to be. You know, I just do it. Um, and I think good things take time. Success above all requires time and effort. Author Malcolm Gladwell suggested the mastery of anything requires 10,000 hours of tireless focus. So if you're struggling and you're pissed off and you're like, God damn it, I just want to quit, don't. Because you need to put in 10,000 hours. That's a long time. Yeah, I have that book. I actually well, have that book. I was going to say, gonna say that's something that you know I had a hard time getting at. Uh, putting out there and getting involved with because like we're talking about the 10 harshest things for entrepreneurs or taking action or just stepping out. I This is a result of me just stepping out through my church uh, starting about seven years ago when I um, started helping go feed the homeless once a month with my church. Um, we would just go down and do it all our church on our own doing it and doing it at once a month every month. So that kind of opened that door and opened my heart in that sense. But it took me taking that action, taking that you know step forward, and so it's made it easier to move into other things. So now, as I do other things and try and move forward and like building my business and building my, you know, going after my dreams, that's part of what I look back on. It's like you know, it's it, everything I built up in front of it, ahead of it, thinking, oh well, what if this or what if that or this or you know, all these different things happen, rather than you know, I just did it you know I just yeah. finally said I'm going just like when I wrote my first blog post after I built my website which I'm having to rebuild my website because uh, my hosting company deleted all my stuff and so oh that's um, crazy Why did uh, they do that? well I hadn't renewed in the time well, I renewed in the time frame they said but they had already deleted the stuff even oh. though they didn't wait the whole so I'm having to rebuild it now I'm fighting with that and I hate building it took me a few months when I did it the first time around, and so I'm like, but I'm having to do it. You know, once again, get out. That's part of the process. You have to rebuild. We do sometimes. You have to push yourself and put yourself out there. Kareem, that just gave me a hell of an idea. Why don't we host Dan's site? Yeah, I can do that, actually. <laughs> oh, we can do that. We can host his website. I'm sitting here wanting to get it out there and go, Dan, just let us host your site. That way you don't have to worry about us deleting your stuff if you can't pay for a month or something. Like, gosh. Exactly, wow. yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I will be talking to you guys about that then because me Good. and my financial situation is, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, well, we'll move it over if you need us to. We'll move it over and I can put a theme on it and make it look pretty. Um, 
let to keep going and great i used the filler word what's Yay! the next lesson <laughs> What, the success takes time? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? 45 years for Henry Ford before he had his company. Yeah. No, I have that book. It's it's true. Like, if I were to get good at basketball, it would take me probably 10,000 hours because I don't play it, and I'm not good at it. For And he says basically, like, if you have all the skills and talent, it, it may be a little less. But he said the average to be an expert is 10 years or 100,000 hours, which is a ridiculous amount of time. I mean, most people don't have that in their jobs now with how much the job market. Some do, but definitely a lot of people do not have that, even in their so-called positions where they are an expert.